Hi, I'm Ben Canning, and this micro lecture is on power. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and to do your follow-up questions on Google Forms. So if voltage is basically the amount of energy per each charge or whatever, then what is power? Because they are separate things. So we've here got an example of the power of each of these bulbs being uh, 60, 18, and 10. Well, power is the amount of energy used each second. So it's not the amount of energy for each charge, it's how much energy are we using in total each second. So if we imagine a bulb, such as uh, those three-way dimming bulbs that can go at three different brightnesses, um, as we increase the brightness, we are using more and more energy each second and having it pump out in the form of light. And that energy or that power is um, measured in watts, which you've probably heard before, especially with light bulbs. So 40 watts is producing less light energy than 100 watts is, hence why it gets a little bit brighter each time. Another example of uh, the difference between different amounts of power, um, for example, speakers. So we've got a little handheld speaker here. This one would be about 3 watts of energy uh, worth of sound being put out each second. Um, or sorry, three joules of energy being put out each second, which would be a watt, um, versus for a concert, it would be closer to like 3,000. So however much energy you're putting out each second, that is what power is. So power is energy divided by time, or change in energy over time is the easy way to think about it, and that's applicable in a lot of different scenarios, but that's harder to apply to circuits, which is really what we're going to get to in this one. But before we get there, know that power is represented with a variable P, and the units are watts, represented with a capital W. Now with circuits, power is going to equal current times voltage. Um, and we'll talk or break that down a little bit more in a second, but know that power is equal to current times voltage. There are also two other ways we can write this by combining it with Ohm's law, uh, where power equals current squared times uh, resistance or power equals voltage squared over resistance. Um, both of those are on your equation sheet, um, but we're not going to list them here today. So thinking about power for a second, if power is current times voltage, and current is charge divided by time, and energy or voltage is energy per charge, then if we're multiplying these two things, what we get is charge over time times energy per charge. Well, then we can do some uh, cancellation or simplification here and realize that really what this is doing is now that we know how much energy each charge is bringing and we know how many charges are uh, coming through each second, what we really are figuring out is how much energy is coming through each second. And so that's why power is equal to current times voltage. If that's confusing to you, don't worry too much about it, just know that power is current times voltage. Um, so that's the simplified form. That's it for this one, three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and please do your follow-up questions on Google Forms.